What is going on guys? Welcome to another video. Today we are going to be discussing the top 50 players, the top 50 rated players on FIFA 17. Now FIFA has released all 50 top, all 50 of the players who are the best on FIFA so we're going to just get straight into this. Now we're only going to just go in depth on the top 10 but we're going to blatantly discuss 50 through 20 or 50 through 10 or 50 through 11 I mean sorry. Now anyways at number 50, at the number 50 spot, we have Blaze Matuidi. Blaze Matuidi is a decent player. I haven't watched him too much, but I watched him for friends during the Euros. He is a decent player, and he does deserve his rating. Now, at the 49 spot, we have Marcelo. Now, Marcelo got a two. I think he got a two upgrade on rating on his overall, and which is well deserved. I think Marcelo is probably the best left back in the world. If you disagree. You're probably going to think it's David Alaba, and but no, just stop right there. Marcelo is the best left back in the world. At the number 48 spot, we have Pierre-Emerick Pierre Aubameyang. I can never pronounce his name right. I'm just going to say Aubameyang because that's how everyone knows him. He is 86 rated. I think last year he started off at 82. I don't really know for sure, but yeah, this dude has 96 pace. That is absolutely insane, and it is well-deserved. And um, I haven't, I'm not going to say I watched him too much because I really haven't, but I know he's an extremely fast player and he's 86 rated on FIFA. That card is going to be a beast for people who want a good Bundesliga squad. At number 47, we have Dimitri Payet, one of my favorite players. Now, Dimitri Payet is a great player, but his passing is higher than Messi's. Now, that makes absolutely no sense. I'll compare the cards right here. This is Messi's card and this is Payet. How how does Messi have lower pace than Payet? That doesn't make sense to me. But either way, his, Payet's a great player. I watched him play for France. He did really well. Does he deserve an 86? I don't know. I think he started off with an 82 or 84 last year. I think it was an 82, maybe even lower. I don't know for sure. But he probably deserves an 85 or an 84. He's a great player, but he's not one of the best or something. But he does deserve to be on the top 40 or top 50. It's just maybe at an 85 rated. I don't know. Now at 46, this is kind of crazy. Uh, Iron Robin got a big step down from last year's FIFA. He is 87 rated. Not going to go that much into Iron Robin. Let's get on to the next. We have 45, James Rodriguez. He is 87. I believe he was 86 or 87 last year. So not that much of a change. And yeah, his stats are decent. At 44, we have David Silva who moved down from one. A lot of people disagree and say David Silva shouldn't even be 87. He should be like 84 or something. And I haven't watched him play that much, so I can't say much about that. At 43, we have Karim Benzema who is 87 rated. I think he got upgraded by one from last year. Karim is a good striker. He's not like super, super good, but he does deserve the rating he has. And at 43, that's well deserved. At 87 rated, we have Arturo Vidal, who is the 42nd place. And yeah, not much to say about that. It's the same as last year, basically. His stats are decent, and yeah. Now, this one is a little bit different. Uh, he got like a 2 or 1 boost from last year. I don't know, but uh, we have Sergio Busquets. I think he started off at 86 last year, and he's 87 rated, which is well deserved. Busquets is playing; has been playing really, really well for Barca. I'm not sure for Spain because I haven't watched Spain that much, but for Barca, he's been playing really well. And yeah, he has great defending stats. His defending is 83, and everything else about him is just overall great. He's one of the best defender. I mean, one of the best midfielders in the world, at least top 20 if you're being serious. And yeah, Sergio Busquets, great player at 41. He is deserving. I mean, he deserves that rating. At 87 rated, he's well deserved, and he ranks at 41. So now we're into the top 40 to 31, and at number four we have Handanovic. He is 87 rated. I'm not. I'm gonna be honest. I don't think I've ever seen him play in my life. So yeah. At 39 we have Matt Hummels, who went from uh, Bay or from Borussia Dortmund to Bayern Munich, which is crazy. A lot of people were really upset about them calling. Really upset about that, calling him a traitor and stuff. He is 87 rated. And a lot of the German defenders have great ratings, and that's good for if you want to make a Germany team or something like that. And yeah, Mats Hummel is 87 rated. He rings at number 39. At 38, we have Thomas Mueller. Uh, not much to say about that. Thomas Mueller, a great player. And yeah, overall, he has decent stats. At number 37, we have Angel Di Maria. Uh, for, for Man United, he played absolutely horrible. But once he stepped to PSG, he was a great player. I did watch a lot of his games, and I did watch him play a lot. Overall, Di Maria is a great player. 87 rated, is that an understatement? Maybe. He could be 88, but I don't know. He has 87 pace and 87, or, yeah, 87 pace and 87 dribbling, which is well-deserved. 
And yeah, he's a great goal scorer, great passer, great everything. I don't know how PSG is going to play this year without Ibrahimovic now and without some other players, but we'll see. I think Di Maria is probably the star of that team now. And overall, Di Maria does deserve the 37th rank and his rating is decent. At num now, at number 36, we have Alexis Sanchez, who is 87 rated. I think Alexis Sanchez is overrated, to be honest. He's not amazing for Arsenal. I think Ozil is better than him. Uh, Sanchez is not, I mean, he's overrated to be honest. I, uh, as an Arsenal fan, I think he's a great player, but he's overrated. But he is a great player, I won't deny. And his 88 dribbling and 86 pace is great. I wish his pace was higher, but he's not that fast. And yeah, for Arsenal, he's great. And his rating is somewhat deserved. And at 36 rank, he is a good player. He will be someone to use on FIFA 17. Now at, the, at number 35, we have a big upgrade from last year. I think he started off as a 80 or 30 earning K. At 84, he is now 87, which is Ivan Rakitic, and Rakitic has become a beast now. I'm not gonna lie, his game has stepped up so much. Like really, really, like he's a really good player now. He's stepped up his game a lot. Now at 87 rated, I think that's somewhat. I think he should be 86, but 87 is fine with me. Anyways, he's one of my favorite players. He has 86 passing, 84 shooting. His last game, in the last game we just played for, or the last game Barca just played, he played absolutely amazing. He got a, he got the only goal in the game, and he got man of the match. And that's because he was playing probably the best, if not the second or third. But yeah, he played absolutely well. He's playing well right now. He's on top form. And shots out to Rakitic. He's a great player, and he ranks at 35 at the best players on FIFA. All right, so I was making this video and I stopped at 35 and I took a huge break and I'm back again. I got pretty busy, but let's just get straight into it. So I think we were at 35, I think, which was Ivan Rakitic, I think. And it was. So at number 34, we have John Oblak. Um, I've never seen him play before, but he's 87 rated. He has 90 handling and 87 positioning, as you can see somewhere on the screen. And yeah, he's I've, like... His card looks beast. Let me look at it right now. His card looks amazing. So that's a very high high rated goalkeeper. He's gonna work good in the La Liga goalkeeper. I think he might be the best La Liga goalkeeper right now. Then at number 37, we have Bonucci. I don't think he got an upgrade or anything. He has a decent card. His stats are okay. 87 defending, 81 physical. His cards overall is okay. I don't think he got an upgrade from last year. If he did, it was probably like just one, but I'm not completely sure. So yeah, on to number 32, we have the most overrated left back of all time, David Alaba. Now, here's the thing. He got a two upgrade. He went from 85 to 87, but here's the thing. I absolutely hate David Alaba, not because he's like, not because he's on ban or something or something wrong with him himself. I just, I think he's extremely overrated. I think that like, in my opinion, David Alaba is not that good. Like he's beyond overrated. Now, him coming at number 32, I don't think he deserves it. 87 rated, I also don't think he deserves that. I think I think Marcelo is far better than him. I don't know. David Alaba is just, he's not my type of player. And I really do not consider him better than the players that he's ranked above. And yeah, he's he's overrated. His He has 86 pace and 83 dribbling, which is okay. His card is pretty good, but he's just an overrated player. And I don't think he deserves what he got. At number 31, we have Hugo Lloris. He has an 88 rated card. There is... Four goalkeepers, I think, total that are rated over 87. Now, that's absolutely insane. This year is going to be great for goalkeepers. Hugo Lloris overall, decent card. At number 30, we have, for whatever reason, we have Aiden Hazard. Now, most of you know he does not deserve 88 rated. It's just FIFA doesn't like to move someone. They don't like to move their rating above two from last year or below two from last year. He was 90 rated last year. Now, he's 88. To be honest, he deserves probably like an 82, 83 for the way he played last season. Maybe he'll do better this season, but I don't think so. He has 90 pace and 91 dribbling, and his card comes out to 88 rated. It's pretty standard. At number 25, we have Chiellini. He's 88 rated. Not much to say about that. Uh, they, ha they have two really great defenders, at, uh, center backs for Juventus. That's pretty good. At number 28, we have 88 rated Peter Cech. Now, let me correct what I said earlier. We have five goalkeepers coming in at the top. I mean, at 87 rated or above. Above. Now, 88 rated Peter Cech also has the same as Loris. They both have really great cards. I would choose Cech probably or Loris because he's French and it would have a better link. But since I'm an Arsenal fan, I would choose Cech, but great card overall. We have an upgrade from last year, Tony Cruz at number 27. He went from 87 rated, I think, to 88. He pretty good card actually, really great card. And yeah, he always his pace his pace got knocked down by I think about 
11 maybe. I don't know, he's just getting slower, but his passing is 88, which is pretty good. Then we have Buffon. Now let me correct what I said earlier. Again, we have six goalkeepers that are rated above 87. Uh, Buffon comes out as 88 rated really great card and he has 90 positioning which is great at number 25 We're halfway done. We have Marco Royce now what an absolutely insane card 90 pace 86 dribbling and 85 shooting how can you stop that card? That card is absolutely great. He's going to be great for good Bundesliga squads at left mid. And yeah, overall, what a great card. I'm pretty sure most people play him as left wing. But yeah, 88 rated great card for Marco Royce. As he is on the cover of FIFA too. I voted for him. I'm glad he got cover instead of the other players. Now at number 24, we have a downgrade from last year. Who I think was either 89 or maybe it, it is 88 and he stayed the same. But it's Andres Iniesta. Great card. I can't wait to use him. He is playing... Well, he hasn't played this year, this season for Barca yet, but last season he played pretty great. He started to fall off in the end, but he's overall a great player. And yeah, his passing is 87, which most people are excited about, and he has 90 dribbling. At 23, we have another 88 rated player. I swear this is like the 10th 88 rated player, but it's Diego Godin. Great center back for us to use for the uh, Liga BBVA squads and pretty great player overall. We have Philip Lum at 88 rated at the 22nd and yeah, pretty great card. Nothing else to say about that. Kevin De Bruyne, who was I think 86 rated last year or 87 or 88, I could be wrong. I think it was 86 though. He now has an 88 rated card. And, and his card is great. It's going to be good to use as, as if you need a cam for like um, a Barclays Premier League squad. And overall, yeah, he has a great card. 86 passing, pretty decent. Now at number 20. This one has me the most he heated. Like, like what? why? Why FIFA? Explain to me why Pepe has an 88 rated card. Pepe, I think he got a 4 upgrade, I think. He was 84 last year, if I'm correct. Why did he get a 4 upgrade? He's not that great of a player. He's a dirty, dirty player. I think he really deserves like 84, 83, or 82. I don't know why he got an upgrade. I'm more upset about that than David Alaba. Pepe sucks to me. I don't like Varane is better than Pepe. I don't even know why Pepe got an upgrade. His 88 defending, does he deserve that? No. His physicality is 81. I'll agree on that one. But his defending, no. His defending, is he's not that good of a defender. I think he's overrated. And yeah, undeserved card, but he ranks at number 20. At number 19, we have Gonzalo Higuain. Higuain plays great for, uh, he played great for Napoli, but no. I mean, he, he got picked up from event that says 87 shooting, 88 rated. Does he deserve that? No. I think he deserves like an 84 rating. I think it was 84 last year or 86, but he just does not deserve 88. He doesn't play great enough for Argentina for him to become an 88 rated player. Like he plays absolutely... Honestly, he's the weak link for Argentina, if you like, in my opinion. And yeah, I don't agree with this card, but he ranks at number 19 with another 88 rated. Then we have the overrated man himself. These last three cards have been overrated. Paul Pogba. Now, Paul Pogba is a great player. He has to be one of the best center mids in the world right now, at least top five for sure. But did he, does he deserve 88 rated? No, he's not that good of a player. Now, he's a great player, don't get me wrong. He's not a horrible player, but to be 88 rated, no. But he does play great for Man United. What a great pickup. And now Pogba and Ibra are going to destroy the Premier League. At number 17, we have Antoine Griezmann, another 88 rated player, which I think this one is deserved. Griezmann played absolutely amazing for France and Atletico. He plays great for Atletico too. And at 88 rated, that's a great player. You definitely want to make him your striker if you make a BBVA squad. At number 16, we have another overrated player. I think who had an upgrade for last year. He either got an upgrade by one or a downgrade by one. I don't know if he was an 88 rated or 89 rated. I mean, 90 rated. But either way, we have Thiago Silva, who is an 89 rated player. He's not that good of a center back. If it was me making the ratings, he would be about 86, 85. But overall, decent card. He has 90 defending, and you might want to pick him up if you're making a French league squad. Now, at number 15, we're almost done here. We have Luka Modric. Modric, 89 rated card. Great player, great stats, great everything. Not much to say about him. Let's get on to the next person. Sergio Ramos is number 14, who has 89 rated defend or 89 rated. He has 87 defending. Great center back. He's a great player. He well deserves this card, and I'm really glad he got to the 14. I think he got an upgrade from last year, I think, by two, maybe. I'm not completely sure. I don't remember the cards from last year, but yeah. Sergio Ramos, great card, great player, well deserved, and yeah, great person overall. At number 13, I'm sorry, we have seven or six rated players. I'm not even sure anymore, but I think it was seven rated players over 87 who were goalkeepers. We have uh, Courtois. 
89 rated. I haven't really seen Courtois play that much, so I can't say that much. But people say he's good, and some people say he sucks. Either way, he has an uh, 89 rated, and his handling is 91. Great card if you want to get a good goalkeeper for Barclays Premier League. Now, at number 12, we have the man himself, Mr. Assist, Mesut Ozil. What a great player he is, 89 rated. After he left Madrid, he became a beast. I mean, he was already a beast for Madrid. He plays even better for Arsenal. And yeah, Mo Mesut Ozil, what a great card. What a great player. That is definitely someone you want in your Premier League squad as Cam. He will be passing beautifully. He has 87 passing and 86 dribbling. What a great player. I can't wait to use him on FIFA. Now, at number 11, we have Sergio Aguero. He has 89 pace. 88 shooting and 89 dribbling. Can you believe that? 89 rated overall. I think he might have... Honestly, I think he went up by one. I'm not sure, but great player. It's well-deserved, and yeah. Now we're at the top 10, so we're going to be doing comparison from last year's card to this year's card. So we're going to go ahead and do number 10, which is David De Gea. So, as you can see here, here, right here, or somewhere around this area, we have David De Gea. This is his FIFA 15, or FIFA 16 card. He had 88 diving, 81 handling, 86 kicking, 89 reflexes, 51 speed, and 83 positioning at, 80, at 86 rated. He was probably the top, I don't even know if he was top 50 last year, but I can't say for sure. But here we are onto this card now. His new card, his FIFA 16 card, which is an absolute beast. He's the second highest rated goalkeeper in FIFA 17. He is 90 rated. His stats are absolutely insane. Let me go through his stats right now. He has 88 diving, 85 handling, 87 kicking, 90 reflexes, 56 speed, and 85 positioning. Now, that is an absolutely beast card. I haven't watched De Gea too much, but I know he's an amazing goalkeeper. And he ranks at number 10 here on the list. And what a great player. What a great card. And that's someone you definitely want to have in your squad. Here we have Robert Lewandowski, who last year was an 87 rated player. Uh, in the beginning, he had 80 pace, 85 shots, 74 passing, 84 dribbling, 38 defending, and 80 physical. As you can see right here, it was a good card. It was a pretty good card. It was someone you wanted to use, but he wasn't that great, and they kind of underrated him as he has as he is as a player. But then you have this year's card. He's finally 90 rated. He got an upgrade by four point or by four ratings. And now his card is absolutely beast. Let me read his stats stats out right here. He has 81 pace, 87 shot. 74 passing, 85 dribbling, 38 defending, and 82 physicality. Now, that is a great player. That is definitely someone you want in your Bundesliga squad. What a great striker. He has to be the best striker in Bundesliga. And yeah, some people might prefer, prefer Aubameyang because of his pace. But Lewandowski is definitely someone you also want to use. Maybe a little link up between those two. What a great player. Lewandowski had an amazing season. And overall, he has to be the top three strikers in the world for sure. And yeah, what a great player coming in at number nine. At number eight, we have Jerome Trashatang. Jerome Boateng, um, he's overrated. I feel the same way about him as I do about Alaba. I don't think he's good. I don't think he should be top 25 even. He ranks at he ranks at number 90. Now, his card is absolutely insane. Let me go to last year's card. Now, last year we have Jerome Trashatang right here. He was 79 pace. He was 87 rated. Overall, he had decent stats. 50 shots, 69 passing, 68 dribbling, 87 defending, defending and 84 physical. It was a decent card. I didn't like it that much. I used it myself. I really didn't like it, but it's a decent card. But here he has an absolutely insane upgrade. Look at this. This year, Jerome Trashertain has 90 defending. Let me get. Let me see. He's 90 rated. He's a 90 rated center back. Him and Ramos have beast cards. Now he has 79 pace, 50 shots, 72 passing, 68 dribbling, 90 defending and 85 physicality he's a, it's a great card way better than last year's and he got an upgrade by three and what a great card he's a bad player to me but his card is absolutely insane i don't know if he's gonna be that good to use in fifa i think there's gonna be better center backs to use than him but yeah what a great card and yeah now at number seven spot we have the one that everyone's been waiting to see if you haven't already seen the cards it's an absolute beast let me just get you here let me just get you ready let me show you the fifa 16 card the man Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Wow, what a beast. Look at his card right now. Now, this card was really good. The shooting was absolutely amazing. In 90 shot, he had 73 pace, 81 passing, 85 dribbling, 
31 defending and 85 physicality. It was a great card for PSG. That was a great card to use. A lot of people loved him. His skill moves were OP. He had four, four star rated skill moves. But that's not just all. Let me get let me get to this card right here. Glorious Manchester United. Right here. This this card was an absolute beast. I mean, it is a beast. 90 rated. He got an upgrade. The older he's getting, the better he's getting. I don't know what to say about Ibrahimovic, but look at these stats. Ibrahimovic has 72 pace, which is kind of low, but he's getting old. What do you guys expect? He has a 90 shot, 81 passing, 85 dribbling, 31 defending, and 87 phys or 86 physicality. Same weak foot and same uh, uh, skill moves, but wow, what a card. That Everyone is going to love that card for the BPL squads. That is somebody new that we have in the BPL. And for at Manchester United, that is he made a great choice and he's doing really well. As an Arsenal fan, I wish he would have went to Arsenal, but he is an absolute beast for Manchester United. Him and Pogba are going really well together and of course the whole team's holding up. I'm pretty sure they're going to get first place by the end of the season. And at number seven, there is Zlatan Ibrahimovic. What a great player. Now at number eight, at number six, we have Gareth Bell. His card is his card last year was eh, it was it was a really good player, but his card was eh. But yeah, he had four star skill moves, three star weak foot, and then he had ninety four pace, which was which set everything off. That made him the player he was. He was an absolute beast. And then eighty three shot, eighty three passing, eighty four dribbling, sixty three defending, and eighty physical. Decent card last year. It was nice to use because he had so much pace. And honestly, I kind of prefer him as much as I preferred Messi. Maybe even more depending on where you play Messi, but yeah, great player and good card. But we have this year's FIFA 17 card where Gareth Bell is a 90 rated player. Just look at that. Those stats are absolutely amazing. They're fire. That was a great choice for FIFA to make his card that good. He's He deserves it. Bell's a great player overall and his stats are absolutely amazing. Let me go through it. He has 3 star refit and 4 star skill, uh, four -star skill moves like I think last year. He has 94 pages, the same as last year. His shooting and passing, 87 and 84. 86 dribbling, 57 defending, and 76 physicality. Great player. That is a great card. I definitely want to try that one out. I'm super excited about that card as he ranks number six. Now we have number five, which is Manuel Noir, another overrated player, I feel. He's kind of overrated. He's not super overrated. I think, I think 92 rated is stretching. I think 92 is stretching his rating a little bit. I think he should be 90 rated, but let's go ahead and check last year's card. And here is last year's Manuel Noir card. He had 85 dieting. 87 handling, 90, 91 kicking, 86 reflexes, 90 positioning, and 58 speed. Overall, that is an absolutely insane card. I haven't really checked his stats for his FIFA 17 card, so I'm really crazy. I'm really ready to see that. He's going from a 90 rated to a 92 rated. Let's see. Now, this year's stats. He has 89 diving, 90 handling, 95 kicking. That is absolutely insane. This card is great. 89 reflexes, 60 speed, and 91 positioning. How can you get better than those stats from a goalkeeper? He's the best goalkeeper on FIFA. And just look at those stats. Those stats are absolutely insane. Manuel Noir, what a great card. I cannot wait to use that card. I really have, I didn't like him in FIFA 15 or 16, but I have high hopes for this one because look at the stats. And at 92 rated, he ranks in at number five. Now my favorite striker ranks in at number four. Who do you guys think it is? Let me just... Let's just let that sit in. Who do you guys think it is? I'll let you guess the next top four and we'll see if you guys get it right. But here it goes. We have 92 rated Luis Suarez. Now let's look at last year's card. He had 82 pace, 88 shot, 79 passing, 88 dribbling, 42 phys or 42 defending and 78 or 79 physical. And now that was a pretty great card. I mean, I loved using Suarez in FIFA, uh, FIFA 16. What a great card that was. But it's somehow he somehow even gotten even better. Now let me just explain. Suarez has to be the best striker in the world. Just look at how many goals he broke. I mean, he scored the most goals for La Liga, and he absolutely destroyed for Barca. Now, as a Barca fan, as a main like my main team is Barca. I'm absolutely proud. He's the best striker in the world, and I love having him on our team. He is a great player, and he has deserved this 92 rated card. How can you argue that? That card is absolutely insane. Let's just get an overview of his stats. He has 82 pace, 90 shooting. His shooting got a lot better. 79 passing. I think he deserves higher passing than that, but yeah. 87 dribbling, 42 defending, and 79 physicality. Four star weak foot, four star skill moves. Now, what a great player Suarez is. Man, he scores some. 
he scores some insane volleys, I'm not gonna lie. And he's a great goal scorer overall. Great card, I cannot wait to use that. I love his FIFA 16 card so much. It, like, you guys don't understand how much I loved it. But yeah, what a great player Suarez is. Now we're on to the top three where it gets really spicy. So, who do you guys think is gonna be number three? I'll let you guess. And I'm pretty sure you guys guessed right because you already, you haven't heard his name yet and he is here now. Ooh. So, Neymar Jr., my favorite player, and the great Brazilian himself, five-star weak foot, five-star skill moves, and this is just his FIFA 15, or FIFA 16 card. Now, let's look at his stats for FIFA 16. He was 88 rated in the beginning, 90 pace, 80 shot, 72 passing, 92 dribbling. Let me, let me look at that again. 90 shot and 92 dribbling, and then 30 defending and 58 physicality. He is pretty, he is pretty weak, and he just flop a lot. I don't like that he dives. I hate diving players, but... Neymar is Neymar. He like he was the person I first started watching when I first started watching football. But yeah, what a great card this is. But we are on with the upgrade by four now at the number three spot with the same rating as Suarez. Oh my God, he's gonna be so expensive. He was he's just one rating away from last year's Ronaldo. And Neymar, here he goes. He is 92 rated in FIFA 17. His card is insane. Let's just look at this right now. Five star weak foot, five star skill moves. How can you how can you not like that? 91 pace, 84 shot, 78 passing, 95 dribbling. I think that's I don't know how you can get any higher dribbling than that, but there is one player who has that. And yeah, 95 dribbling, 30 defending, and 56 physicality, the same as last year. But oh my god, this card is insane. I'm so proud of my favorite player in the world. And I'm glad he has a 92 rated. Is that overrated? Yeah, I think they're stretching it. I think he should be 91 rated. And honestly, I think Suarez should be higher rated than him. But at number three, we have Neymar. Now, the two you've been waiting for. If you haven't seen their ratings already, Ronaldo and Lionel Messi. Who do you guys think ranked number one? Disappointingly, the one who ranked number two was Lionel Messi. Now, Lionel Messi, for the first time in a long time, has a lower rated card than Ronaldo. And there's a lot of controversy about this. A lot of people say that the only reason he has a lower rated card is because he he canceled his, he didn't renew his contract with EA Sports this year. So they're saying it's the first year that he hasn't uh, renewed his contract and it's the first year he got a lower rating. Maybe it has something to do with each other. I wouldn't be surprised, but honestly, I don't think he deserves this rating. He got a downgrade from last year. Does he deserve it? No, he hasn't gotten any worse from last year. If anything, he's gotten better. I'm really upset about this rating. 93 rating, like how good? He didn't get any worse from last year. They really, Just because he canceled his contract or if they believe he got worse, I don't know. Like, I don't know why he's a 93 rated. I'm pretty heated about that. He deserves a 94 like straight up. But either way, his card is great. Look at that. Well, let me look at the FIFA 15 card right now. At 94 rated, which is better than last year, we had 92 pace, 97 dribbling, 90 shot, 90 passing, and 65 physicality, and then of course the 30 defending. And then this year's card, I can't get all excited about it because it's worse than last year's. I don't like, why do they believe that it got worse? Are they really hoeing him because he didn't renew his contract? Because FIFA, he, you know he doesn't deserve a, a 93 rated. Come on. He didn't, he didn't get any worse from last year. If anything, he got better. He doesn't deserve a 95 rated, but Lionel Messi should have stayed 94. But anyways, let's look at his stats. He has four-star weak foot and four-star skill moves. He has 96 dribbling, which doesn't make sense. He has higher rated dribbling than Neymar, but he has the lower skill move stars. It doesn't really make uh, sense to me. 26 defending, which is horrible, of course. 61 Physicality, 89 pace, 90 shot, and 86 passing. 86 passing, they're absolutely tripping. How does how does Dimitri Payet have higher? How does Dimitri Payet have a better passing stat than Lionel Messi? That makes no sense at all. Messi is one of the best passers in the game, and I'm overall heated about this card. I'm glad he ranked at least top three. But come on, FIFA, you didn't have to home like that. At number one, the best player of all in FIFA 16. Before they start releasing all the Special cards and stuff, the end forms and all that. The best rated player in FIFA 16, Cristiano Ronaldo. His card is absolutely insane. Now let's just go ahead and look at his old, his last year's cards, which is 93 rated. And he was, let me see, he had five, a four star weak foot, five star skill moves, 90 dribbling, 33 defending, 78 physicality, 92 pace, 93 shot, and 80 passing. Now that card is absolutely amazing, but then we get onto this year's card. At number one, 
the best card in all of FIFA. I don't know where I'm gonna put it. I think I'm gonna put it right there. <laughs> Let me just get low. But the best card in all of FIFA 17, Cristiano Ronaldo. Look at this card. I'm gonna go ahead and move it right there now. But look at this card. Absolutely insane. How, how do you, what? Now 94 rated. I think him and Messi should both be 94 rated. It's the first time Ronaldo's been above Messi, I think, in a long time. But R Ronaldo, best card in FIFA 17. Now let's go to his stats. He has 92 pace, 92 shot. That's already absolutely insane. 91 dribbling, 33 defending, 80 physicality, and 81 passing. Decent passing, decent uh, physicality, and all that. But oh my God, the shooting and pat. I mean, the shooting and the shooting and the pace is insane. There's the best card on FIFA 17 right there. I hope you guys, are, I can't wait to use Messi and Ronaldo and Neymar. Now what I'm really excited about is the MSN trio. 92 rated Neymar, 92 rated Suarez, and 93 rated Messi. I'm so ready to use that attack force. And oh my god, it, it, it's absolutely insane. What a great card Ronaldo got. And overall, what a great year for FIFA. I cannot wait to use most of these cards in here. But anyways, that ends off the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the ratings. And if you agree with any of them, go ahead and comment down below if you disagree with some of them. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a thumbs up. And if this is your first time watching, go ahead and subscribe down below. And yeah, 